Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that we've got from Korean Mass Olympiad from 27. In this problem, we have a summation for 1 over square t root of k for k is between 1 and 2007. We need to find this expression, divide it by 3, and then find the final answer by getting a floor operator on it. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. To solve this problem, we are going to convert the equation that we have to a telescoping series. To do that, let's start with an inequality. Since k is a positive integer number, we can say a square t root of k is less than a square t root of k plus 1 and greater than a square t root of k minus 1. If you add 1 a square t root of k to all the terms that you have here and then apply the rule that we know if b is between a and c then 1 over b is between 1 over c and 1 over a for positive values a, b and c then you can see 1 over 2 square t root of k is greater than 1 over square t root of k plus square t root of k plus 1 and less than 1 over square t root of k plus square t root of k minus 1. Now we have a nice equation and we need to shape it to be similar to what we had in the original expression. To do this, we need to apply two steps. For the first step, we need to apply the sigma operator. And then for the second step, we need to get rid of 1 over 2 that you see here. If you do these, then what we see here is an expression that is between two similar expressions. The interesting point here is these two expressions that you see here in blue and red can be converted into a telescoping series. Let's start to do this. 1 over square t root of k plus square t root of k plus 1 can be written as square t root of k plus 1 minus square t root of k. To prove this, just multiply top and bottom by square t root of k minus square t root of k plus 1 and then use a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. At the end, we have a telescoping series. And the answer for this telescoping series is going to be 2 times a square t root of 2008 minus 1. So we have a lower bound now. For the upper bound, we can use exactly the same thing. This way, we can show that 1 over a square t root of k plus a square t root of k minus 1 is actually equal to a square t root of k minus a square t root of k minus 1. Then we have a new telescoping series and the answer for it is going to be 2 times a square t root of 2007. If you are not sure about how we did these calculations, make sure that you see the last part of this video. At the end of this video, we are going to talk about how we did these expressions in more details. By now we have this expression that is between two values. One of them is the lower bound and the other one is the upper bound. Remember we wanted to have 1 over 3 times this expression. So let's do that first and then we need to apply the floor operator on it. Remember, floor of x is basically the integer part of x. So let's calculate the integer part of the values that we have for lower bound and upper bound. If you calculate the lower bound and upper bound and then take the integer part of them, you will see both are 29. So it's easy to see that 
the integer part of the expression that we have is going to be 29 and that's our answer to show that why we could convert the expression into a telescoping series I'm going to add more details here we showed that 1 over a square root of k plus a square root of k minus 1 is equal to a square root of k minus a square root of k minus 1 you can prove it by first multiplying both top and bottom of the expression by a square root of k minus a square root of k minus 1 then the denominator is going to be simplified to 1 and you get your answer on the other hand 1 over square root of k minus square root of k minus 1 can be simplified using the same trick but this time you need to multiply both top and bottom by square root of k plus square root of k minus 1 if you do this then the top of the expression is going to be square root of k plus square root of k minus 1 and the denominator is going to be 1 which results into the final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.